just got it. Like, I'm, I'm talking yeah. to you yeah. on it now. I was I, I, I just got it from picking it up today. They, yeah. They, they, yeah, I just got it. I, I'm talking to you on it now. I, I just got back from picking it up today. They, they emailed me that they only had a couple left. And lucky me, I got one of the last invisible phones they had in stock. Well, <laughs> of course I can't see it. Look, look, it's right here. See, I mean, I mean, do you see that you can't see it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the chargers are invisible too. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was funny because when I went to do the curbside pickup, I had to wait in the car for a really long time because they couldn't find it. <laughs> the workers were, were feeling around like they were in the dark, even though they weren't. Yeah, yeah. through the windows, um, they looked like uh, um, sleepwalking mimes. <laughs> It's a unique situation. <laughs> oh, so disorganized. But uh, but I mean, what what are they supposed to do? It's it's hard to it's hard to organize the invisible. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, yes, yes. When we can get together, I I I will show you my invisible phone in real life anytime. But I mean, I just I. I feel the need to remind you <laughs> again that there is nothing to see. <laughs> look, if you hold your own hand up to your ear and look at yourself right now, that's the gist of, yes, that's it. That's it, that's all there is. <laughs> yeah, they recommend keeping it in a special box when it's not in use, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you're right you're right it will look like there's nothing inside <laughs> but you know what they say you can't judge a book by its cover <laughs> well it's the same for boxes <laughs> hey 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 R remember when everyone would pretend that bananas were phones <laughs> no one does that anymore because bananas don't look anything like phones anymore Nothing looks like anything anymore. Even phones are invisible. You can't see them at all. <laughs> well, the reason I sound tired is because I am tired. Coffee stopped working. I, I, I don't know. No. I've never heard it happening to anyone before. No, it's, it's never happened to me before either. I tried that. I tried to have more. Definitely was not decaf. I was using the same coffee I used when it worked the last time, which was yesterday, obviously. Then I tried to make this special whipped coffee I saw on Instagram. Then I tried three shots of espresso an hour after that. And then I ordered coffee to be delivered with a pizza. Yes. It was surprisingly strong. I was surprised. It had muscle. It was robust. Nothing. It made me tired. Do you think this is a real thing, this coffee not working thing? Like, does this condition have a name? Are we getting more? I can't take any more. Do you, do you think this thing is called coffee resistance syndrome? Look it up. Look up coffee resistance syndrome. Google it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like an allergy. All I know is I'm very tired. I took my temperature like 50 times today. I, I just feel tired. I hope I'm not the only one this is happening to. If you hear about this happening to anyone else, you let me know, okay? Because in addition to everything else, if this is a thing too, and we're all gonna have a lot of tired people in our lives, a lot of people who can barely function when they're already barely functioning because everything that used to work is not working anymore. Man, I'm just so tired. I gotta go. Hi. I hate it. I hate the way things are. I wish that COVID-19 didn't mean what it means. I wish it meant two people making a video together.
Or like when parents get divorced and they co-parent. And I wish that the virus never even existed. And that novel virus was just the name of a novel. Like, have you read Beloved, Grapes of Wrath, Virus? And, and maybe, maybe the novel virus could be about someone getting really popular on the internet despite all kinds of obstacles and then we could have a book club about it in person with wine or maybe don't you wish that the the virus the novel virus was a novel the flower instead like a never before seen virus showing up in backyards all over the world a virus that could even poke through snow and even better wouldn't it be great if it was discovered that a novel virus could cure coronavirus and failing that don't you wish you could just change your name to Onomatopoeia? And if you had, and you were an aunt, and if you had nieces and nephews, they would call you Aunt Onomatopoeia? Wait a second. That's possible. That is totally possible. I could do that starting now would you be willing to call me aunt onomatopoeia <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks thanks i feel buoyed one point for real change oh <laughs> and i'm totally calling you sexy blessing Why wouldn't I? You are one. Doesn't this on some level seem so much like a dream? Think about it. Like, what if it was before this and I called you and I said, I just had a crazy dream. And you said, really? Tell me about it. And I said, well, in my dream, there was some kind of global pandemic and everyone had to wear masks if they went outside and some people had to stay home as much as possible. Parents were losing it big time. Schools and offices and stores had to shut down. Makeshift hospitals were set up in convention centers and thousands of people died and some of them even died trying to help other people not die. It was so sad. In cities, ambulance sirens could be heard all day and night, like screaming. People started sewing masks because there was a shortage and there was a shortage of toilet paper and hand sanitizer and respirators because the disease made it so people couldn't breathe. It was difficult to find out who even had the virus because there weren't enough tests either. And some people had no symptoms at all and no one knew what was what. It was scary and crazy. And the leader in the US was this Trump-like dude. And so of course that made everything suck even more. It was like the world broke up with all people and told us all to get our shit together and that it was going no contact. It wasn't even interested in relationship counseling. The world said it was just going to focus on the animals, stars, and oceans. A lot of human life had to happen online, even funerals, even weddings. In the dream, virtual reality became actual reality and everyone was in the virtual reality together like a hologram. And their assignment was to get through it and make it mean something. 
so that they could be allowed to be real again. So the world would take them back. They had to do it with love and imagination, like in the Velveteen Rabbit. That was the only way to get out of the hologram. Hi, boss. Yeah, I was just about to log in. Yeah, I was going to look at all the essential stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm calling just now because um, I've decided not to do any work today after all. I'm going to stop and just <laughs> not do it. No, I'm not sick. Oh, thank goodness. No, I'm not sick at all. Uh, rather, I'm quite the opposite. I feel fantastic. And I just, well, I feel too good, too well to log in. I mean, it might sound weird with everything going on, but the truth is I haven't felt this good in ages. And no, not taking a sick day. No, I'm definitely not joking. Yeah, you're right. I could pretend to be sick and call in sick, but uh, I feel too well to do that. Yeah, I feel too well to call feeling this good not good. What do I mean by too well? Uh, I mean, I feel uh, first rate, ship shape, uh, stupendous and, and superb. You don't get it? Okay. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that, uh, is this, is that I feel marvelous. Fantastic, sterling, and sublime. I feel deluxe and excellent. I feel wonderful. Do you get it now? Yeah, I know we have a deadline. But uh, yeah, I feel too good, too alive to worry about any, to care about any sort of deadline, any line that's dead. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. I'm calling in well.